Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, she's constantly blowing up your phone. Well, I've got an email here, actually not an email, this is actually a message from a YouTube viewer. And it appears, I guess he's been following what I teach, and so he's starting to get the desired results from women that he's dating or calling him and blowing up his phone and chasing him and so he wants to know how to handle those kinds of things and so the thing that there's there's two different types of text phone calls and emails that you get from women ones where they're just reaching out oh i was thinking about you i miss you i can't wait to see you again last night was fantastic the sex that we had to swing was outstanding just i just want to tell you that i love you whatever it is they reach out to you as they f fall deeper in love with you over the course of several weeks and months as you continue to date them and create one fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen after another, eventually they want more and more of your time until the point where they basically, the two of you end up living under the same roof together, either as boyfriend girlfriend or you get married or engaged or whatever it happens to be, whatever kind of relationship you decide that you want to have. But that's what happens. They want more and more of your time. And so the more they fall for you, the more you become the center of their universe, so to speak, as far as the, the center of the, the person that they love, the main love of their life, the main source of sex, fulfillment, happiness it's, that's in their, in their life. I read in a book one time, and it was really true, and it says, choose very carefully the person you're going to spend your life with because 95% of your happiness or your misery will come from that one decision. And so the important thing to understand is that when the flip side to a woman reaching out to you, if you're dating or you're married to a woman that's very needy and insecure, those texts and those phone calls aren't because she wants to communicate that she loves you. What she's really doing is trying to find out if you still love her or if you've fallen out of love with her since she you left home this morning or because maybe you got up early and she was still asleep when, when you left or whatever it happens to be. And I know I was in, I had a guy that was a business partner for a short period of time. And the guy had had, he, he never really loved his wife. And I think part of the reason why he married this gal in the first place was because he needed to get American citizenship. And yet he's got two kids with this woman. And he's been, they've been together for like 15, 18 years. And she, take, she doesn't take care of herself, and she never wears makeup, and she doesn't do anything with her hair. And this guy's like cheating on her numerous times, and she just she tolerates it. And I remember we'd be in meetings, and he'd be leading a meeting, and she'd be calling his phone, and he'd hit hit mute or send it to voicemail, and then she'd call back, and he'd and she'd keep calling until he picked up the phone like a little bitch. It's like, honey. I, I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back? You know, it's just like asking permission. It's like, I'm going to just turn my phone off. It's like, I'm in a meeting. It's like, I'm busy. I'll get back to you later. And, and it was really annoying because she did that constantly. So we could be in a, in a meeting in an office. And if he let it go to voicemail, she'd just blow his phone up. And that was annoying. And he was just, he was a fucking weak man. He didn't have his, he was he didn't have the balls to leave his wife and go find what he really wanted. So he stayed in this miserable relationship where he didn't really love her. And so he makes his wife feel incredibly insecure because she, she can tell and she can feel that she doesn't have all of him. She doesn't have 100% of his presence and focus romantically. And plus he's cheated on her numerous times. And so, of, of course, she's, so it's like whenever he's away, she's worried that he's screwing around on her. But the key is, is to prevent that shit from happening is you got to remember that the phone is for setting appointments and that's it. And so if you start dating a gal and she starts calling you and texting you, it's like, I mean, if you're a regular successful alpha male, you, you're going to have a busy social life. You're going to be a busy dude. You're you know, probably have companies that you're running, whether it's your own company or you work for somebody else. And you're going to probably be a busy professional. So you're not going to be able to stop what you're doing in the middle of back-to-back -back <clears throat> meetings during the day and console your insecure wife or girlfriend or reassure them that you love them. You just simply, you'll get to them or you'll call them back when you can. And it's like if I'm in meetings all day and I get you know a message or two from my girlfriend, she'll just be saying, hey, babe, I just wanted to reach out and let you know I love you. And she knows that I'll get back to her when I can. And so four or five hours later, I get out of meetings or whatever, 
Then I'll text her. It's like, thanks for the sweet message, sweetheart. I've been in meetings all day. Great to hear from you. Can't wait to see you tonight. I can't wait to see you tomorrow night, whatever it happens to be. And then you go on about your business. But if you stop what you're doing, like this guy that was once my business partner, and fucking stop a meeting, and you're constantly answering your phone, or if you don't really have much going on in your life right now, because here's the thing. When you get into a relationship with a woman you really love, and you're really crazy about, and who feels the same way, you, as a man, you expand in all areas of your life, and you you pursue success in all areas of your life, and so you'll naturally become busier. And so if you've trained your wife to for her to basically expect that you're going to be at her beck and call, then what's going to happen is she's going to start getting pissed off the more you get busier, and it's going to create problems. Whereas if you just get back to her, when you got time and you keep the conversation on the phone simply to arranging dates, arranging times to meet up or get together, then she'll respect that. She'll send you little texts and messages here and there, but she's not going to be like your fucking your warden wanting to know where you're at all hours of the day and night and like you can't get any rest and then you get busy in your career and then she thinks you're screwing around on her because you don't answer your phone or your texts like you always used to. So it's important to set a girl up properly from the beginning when you first start a, start dating her. It's like I you know I say it's like you got to fake it until you make it. I mean, imagine this. You're a busy, successful guy, you got successful companies, people are always asking you questions, they're expecting you to make decisions. Then you get three or four texts from three or four different women wanting you to meet up, wanting to know when you you can hook up again. And so you, you're be busy and you're not going to be chasing after women that aren't really paying that much attention to you because it's kind of like the squeaky wheel gets the oil in your, your, your life, so to speak. Because you're not going to be able to drop what you're doing and answer the phone from a woman if you're busy pursuing your goals and your dreams. If you're sitting around with nothing to do in your life, then you need to get a purpose. You need to you need to find something that jazzes you and excites you so you can start filling your life up and building a life that is all revolved around something and doing something for a living that's emotionally compelling to you. That's the kind of thing that gets you up early in the morning and keeps you up late at night, not because it's your job, but because yeah, it's your job, but you love it. You're excited about it because you'll never be good at anything in life unless you love what it is that you're doing. And this YouTube viewer, he says, hey, Corey, can you tell me what to do when you're at the stage and she's calling you three or four times a day and seeing her and you're seeing her almost every day and she keeps texting me all day long. And the idea is that you just got to get back to her when you can. But like I said, it's important that you train her properly from the time you start dating her because the more you respond to those messages, the more she expects it. And the idea is that, remember, it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And if she's texting you, want to know what you're up to, but you don't get back to her right away, she's going to start to wonder. She may reach out to you again. But that's what causes her emotions to engage. And that's, that's what causes her to wonder about you more and think about you more. And she naturally will feel more attraction for you. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to be busy every day and you can't get to her. But sometimes you have to be. And if you're not busy at all, then as a man, I'd say, it was like, what the fuck are you doing? Because i got plenty of guys that I know that sold their companies for hundreds of millions of dollars. And they, it was great sitting around at the beach or the, their beach house for six months or a year, maybe two years, or going on vacations, but that gets old after a while. As a man, in order to really feel alive, it's like what these guys all end up doing is they end up going and starting some other new business a year or two down the road because they're just fucking bored out of their mind. Because there's there's always so much time you can sit swaying in a hammock or sitting on the beach. And when I got out of real estate, I did that for several years when I first got into the life coaching business because I was building my life coaching practice totally from scratch. And plus, I wanted some time to myself just to think. And I had a, had a buddy of mine that when he left the AOL and he cashed all his shares, he walked away with about 40 million bucks. And one of the things that we were talking about years ago is like he said, you know, he's like, I always wanted when I, when I made it in life, I wanted to be able to have some time where I can sit and relax and just think without having to worry about work or a job or whatever. And he, you know, he did it for a few years, same thing. And he, he got bored. And he started writing music and he started he started moving in other directions creatively. But the key is, as far as the phone calls and girls blowing up your phone, it's a good sign. So you've done a great job of getting this girl to want you, to build sexual anticipation, to get her to, to start to fall for you. And you're seeing each other every day and this is what happens. But just keep in mind, 
use the phone calls and our text is simply to arrange the next fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want a digital version of my Kindle ebook, go to my website. And on the right-hand side column underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device on the right-hand side, there's a button you can click to download a free e-reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install it and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my e-book, you can show your appreciation by going to my website. And on the Would Be a Toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.